Hello, Snow here. Um, as evident per the video title, this is a video series on Funky Trees, the unique programmable input system in SimplePoint. This video series follows the chronological order of the online guide available at snowflake0s.github.io. In fact, this video series is meant to complement the text guide available on the site. It is a good idea to reference the online site um, itself while watching this series of videos. Be sure to check the guide out, I also link it in the description. However, there is a bit of administrative stuff to cover just before I get on with the actual content of this particular video. If you so wish, um, skip across to the time start on the screen to get to the content right away. Now for a bit of information on the structure of this series. As previously mentioned, this video follows the uh, chronological order of the online guide. As of the making of this video, the online guide itself contains 7 general sections from the introduction to section 5, miscellaneous and tools. This video guide will also follow the same format. Well then, we'll begin with the first of the sections, the introduction. Fair warning, I will be assuming that you are pretty familiar with general XML editing in civil planes. By nature, Funky Trees is a special subfield of what's known as XML editing in civil planes. So difficulty with basic XML editing may prove detrimental to learning the Funky Tree system. In any case, Funky Trees was first implemented in Game Version 1.9 as a special subset of XML editing in civil planes that specifically deal deals with the group, activation group, and input attributes of parts. To be more specific, when a user does things in simple planes, like controlling an aircraft by moving the joystick or pressing the keyboard, essentially what's being done is that the user is sending a signal to the various functional components of the craft to move it as the user intends it to. The Funky Trees expands the options here and allows for much more complex programming of the inputs to allow for very special input programming to allow creation of incredibly powerful and useful parts. For example, users have created parts that carry out complex actions that weren't possible prior to 1.9, such as functional all-altitude bombsites, the first functionally complete chronographs, and automatic flight control systems. As it stands, Funky Trees can be considered a specially designed programming language. Kinda does fulfill the definition of one. The purpose of this video guys is simply to orient you with the workings of Funky Trees so that you too can make awesome contraptions in simple planes. And that concludes it for section 1, the introduction. It was a bit short, but it's only the introduction. The coming sections will go much deeper in depth. In any case, I hope this helped. Thank you for taking the time to hang out here. Hope you come around again.